Hey, it's all about quality, not about quantity. Right? Let's get back to another round of Bruise Day Tuesday with Drez and Huck. <laughs> Might be a problem here. You got it? Don't not don't blow out the light. All right, oh, there, you go. there you go. Nice. That was nice. Yeah, round two of Brews Day Tuesday. I'm Drez, and as usual, Hooks over there pouring, pouring the porter. He get, before right before we uh right before we came back, he's like, by the way, this is a porter. Just, yeah, a, just want, a warning. I don't want to shock you. I'd be like, well, this is a brown beer. But it's uh it's a capped porter. Like this is obviously something uh, something special. I'm assuming. Yeah. Well, you know what? You know, we've been doing this for a while, and I've been fronting the beer. If you will, <laughs> and uh, so I yeah, said, I do a couple. I've oh, done do, a couple weeks here. Enough. There. I've but, done a couple, but, but I reached out. I reached out to some folks, and I said, you know what? I think some of you brewers have some beer that we might want to drink for you and talk about. So I reached out to uh, South Street Brewing in Charlottesville, Virginia, which happens to be one of my favorite places to hang out when yeah. I'm in Charlottesville because it's such a lovely yeah. food's good and it's right downtown it's not really to just nice. sit here in S3D but yeah man the place is great and they have a lot of good beer we were talking about them last week yeah, even though we were. weren't even drinking we any did, of their yeah, beer yeah. Get it. they just came up but um so this is a this is the South Street is this a soft sim I mean, I mean, let's see it says soft serve like soft ice cream. serve like it's ice, ice cream yeah. porter. it is okay let me Definitely has that coffee aroma, like a porter oh, that yeah. like you're used to with a porter. It's a big old beer. It's a dark. Ooh, it does Ooh. have some sweetness to yeah, it. Yeah, it's a, see, it's, not too bad. It's like uh, coffee ice cream. Yeah, exactly. Kind of has that like uh, a float almost deal to it. And yeah. once again, oh no, wait. No wait. I saw, I saw nine point four. It's 1.9.4 ounces under blah, blah, blah. Where's blah, the blah. ABV? It's on there somewhere. Here, let me see. I can find it. Oh, he's going on. So when I lived in Waynesboro, grew up there, we used to go to Haney's Pharmacy, and we would get ice cream drinks, and this reminds me of those. You know, a lot of good ice cream floats of different okay, flavors. Okay, maybe I can not find it. Well, here, let me see. Well, hold on, let me pour. Okay, there's a little left Is yours there. full? How much? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. You got, all right, I'm on top. Oh, so it's empty. We Empty. Should. Yeah, I'll drink that. Like, I'm not a big porter fan, but I'm happy to pour more in my pour more of that porter in my glass, man. That tastes good. Look at everything. Nine point oh five percent. Nine point oh five. Yeah, twenty IBUs. Twenty seven point twenty three degrees. You got to lay it down. What's, what's what's IBU? International bitterness units. <laughs> units. We've talked about that. The bitter bitter bitterness. It's yeah, your, bitter. It's your. You high. said beer units. Bitterness units. <laughs> Uh, 24.01 Plato. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> OG, oh, original gravity was 24.01 What's the OG? Degrees. What's the OG on this beer? And then the FG, which is the final gravity, was 8.09. So you take the difference in those and you multiply by one point. I don't know. <laughs> now, if you take the raw number, like if you're making beer, you take what your, your specific gravity is, not Plato, just regular specific gravity. And you subtract it from the ending specific gravity, and you multiply that by 1.34, gives you the alcohol content of your beer. I would ask you to repeat that and explain it more. But you don't care because you don't it's, home brew. I can't keep up with the math. Well, the home brewer is going to call in and go, it's 1.35. It's 1.33. And it's okay. It's all good because just have a home brew it's all and good relax. Enough. Have a homebrew and relax. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna soft have a, serve. Yeah, this <laughs> is good. I'm have a South Street beer and relax. This is not bad at all, man. We'll probably so, be so relaxed we won't even finish the show. Mm. Mm. I'm like, yeah, this segment's gonna last like so 30 minutes because so, I'm not gonna pay attention to how long it is. Yeah, so we're South, South Street's a good little little beer brewery in Charlottesville. Yeah, yeah. So I was in Salem yesterday. If you see, I was gonna shirts. ask you about that. I see your shirt. Yeah, it's Girls Rock. You people on the radio see it? No, you can't see it. Mm. Well, if they watch the YouTube video, they can. They can yeah. Girls Rock Roanoke, and they had a fundraiser, and it's to, you know, it's too many men in rock and roll. There are some fine women, but not enough. So we're starting them young, and I'll put something up on the web page to you can go there and contribute to send these girls to rock and roll camp. That's, oh, that's, that's cool. Much better than any other camp. No, I'm fine with that because you know what? Like, yeah, there. I, I I tend to agree, man. Obviously, you know, guys run. Predominantly, yeah. you know, run the rock yeah. scene, 
And the few females that are in it, they're always just like the hot front woman. Right. Which I feel like the guys in the band are jealous of. You know what I love is like a hot bass player. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, like. A lot of blues bands have. Or like a chick drummer. Those are few and far between. But you know, you go back in history, you got Janis Joplin. Oh, yeah. Amy Lou Harris. You know, Linda Ronstadt. Some, These are all people of my age group. There's some great names. That, and, and and even in today's scene. But, yeah, man, there, we could definitely use more girls in rock so without anyway, a doubt. I, I wore this shirt to remind me to give it a plug. And I will put something up on the website so and on the uh, Facebook page and so forth. That's I'll cool. shoot you a link, too, so you can throw it up on the Sure. On the bear. Yeah, yeah, we can do that, man. No yeah. doubt. I'm, I'll, I'll support that. That's and they, something they were, cool. The girls were good. They were playing. They had like three so different was bands. It, so, yeah, so you went and it was like uh, just a bunch of girls rocking out? Yeah. They had like, you know, little girls. We're talking like, like kids. Yeah, six-year-olds. And then, of course, we had good beer at, at Parkway Brewing. They sponsored the Oh, thing. that's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah. So. Shout out. Yeah, shout out. Hard to get in there and park. Well, you can park across the street in a little <laughs> industrial place. It's Parkway cool. Brewing. It's cool. Uh, so. Unfortunately, I wasn't driving the beer V, or I'd never gotten in there. I'd be uh, parking in the uh, rails to trail. Hey, this used to be a train. It's okay. Yeah, no way. <laughs> no way that's going to work, without a doubt. I notice that happens often. A lot of times we reach for the beer at the same time, yeah. which is bad and for radio because it's just quiet. You get five seconds of dead air. If it's quiet. So I'll hold off. Yeah, you sip, now I'll sip. Yeah, and quiet. you fill it up with time. If it's quiet, we're drinking. Now Trez is drinking. But this beer, it's like, you know, we like to talk about. This one This one is so dark. Super dark. Coal mine. Mm-hmm. Coal mine dark. Which is the way it should be. I mean, that's what you get with porters. I yeah. mean, so what's up with the – all right, here's one question with porters and stouts. First of all, what's the difference between a porter and a stout? I don't care. No. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Porter, you know, I don't really make either. I've made, like, a couple Christmas stouts that were very – particular coffee chocolate kind of things mm-hmm. just for christmas so but my gut feeling and i have a big old gut so yeah this is a good a this is a good feeling <laughs> yeah so, is that your porters are are thicker and sweeter in general you, your stouts are drier and a little thinner you know they don't have the same thick mouth feel that a porter does a porter is like if a brown and a stout had sex then you get the porter what is it what do you think of that yeah, I guess that could be about right. Like, you you should know better than I do. But my the reason I ask is because I I tend to realize that both a porter and a stout they have a lot of that coffee taste to it. And well, that's why that's what I'm getting. Coffee in them that's that's a big thing. They don't necessarily have For, it to both. Yeah, both of them like to. Add that's coffee. pretty standard. Standard kind yeah. of yeah. Chocolate coffee. See, and that's why I lean again. I don't drink coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker. Which is surprising. Like, Actually, I, I, I feel like at this point. I shoot it in the morning. I have to have like. <laughs> like inject inter- coffee yeah, into your veins. Yeah, I got to have it. But, uh, Every see, morning. Yeah, that's just one of those things where I'm like, you know what? If I've gotten this far in life without drinking coffee, like what's another thing to get addicted to? Like I don't think I need no, that. No, that's fair life. enough if you don't need to. Yeah. Around my house. I don't get like, much out of it. You know, a lot of people are like, hey, man, I went out with another woman. And I got in a lot of trouble. And around my house, if I don't make the coffee, I get in a lot of trouble. That's my job. And it better be done. Yeah. So, so, but so yeah. The so porters. It seems like yeah, both porters and styles. Brown. I guess sometimes some browns can have a little flavor. Yeah, but I'm saying that. the brown is a lot lighter, but more on the good mouth feel, but not the the sweetness, not the coffee. They don't add a lot of stuff to browns. Browns are pretty vanilla, if you will. <laughs> it's chocolate vanilla. So, but and your stouts are pretty dry. So somewhere the the porters in between them. I think it's like it's got similarities, but it's still different. So, hmm. I'm not a huge Porter fan, but I guess we're at the point where we could judge this one. Yeah, we could. We probably could untap it. Um, soft serve from South Street. I guess I'll go first maybe this round, even though usually I don't like to untap a beer after I've only had half of it, but I guess that's where we're at. I'd have to so. get you out on a stretcher if you had the whole thing. <laughs> if I had this quickly. Whole the last beer was 9%, and we might yeah. have had a warm-up beer tonight. I'm just we saying. might have, yeah. Actually, might have. Thanks, thanks again for those. <laughs> Happy yeah. birthday to Dress. Yeah, it was it was my birthday over the weekend, so he was kind enough to bring me a six pack of just my favorite styles, which is all the wheats. Yeah, all wheat beers. So uh, one he, of them's a sour wheat. Yeah, so we are we warmed up with the um, uh, I don't even Sequana 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 So Wheat SBC Brew. How about SBC? That's fine. Sequana Brewing Company, which was really good, and then we also had the Positive Jam. Champion uh, of Williamsburg, from Champion. Virginia. No, yeah. Is that right, Williamsburg? Yeah, I think that's right. Champion. They might be Charlottesville, too, actually. Charlottesville, yeah. yeah Champion's yeah. in Charlottesville. And this one had sp- weird spices with it. This one was interesting. It had, like, uh, 
I noticed as soon as I lavender. took the taste, yeah, the lavender. It had it was almost like a perfume kind of. It's like you're somebody sprayed perfume in my beer. Damn it, <laughs> that stuff happens. But um, but yeah, no, that's for that. But uh, but yeah, getting back to the porter, man. So soft serve. Yeah, I'm not a big porter guy. Just kind of like the last one, an IPA. Guy. Maybe I'm turning into these guys. I say that every time, but I end up giving them a good rating because this is one of those ones. I, I love that it's a B, high ABV. Because this is one you're going to sip on anyway. Yeah, but you know you're not really getting the alcohol in your nose at all. On this no, beer. it's not kicking really, in the mouth. Usually over 7%, you're like, oh, high alcohol. But this one's it's, like, no, it's It's smooth. not kicking your mouth. Yeah, it's smooth. Right it's tasty. It's You can definitely have the – you get the sweetness without a doubt of the ice Very cream. Nice. The soft serve without a doubt. It's got that chocolatey. Let me give it one more sip, and we can uh, – and then I'll probably give it an official untapped rating. Yeah, I mean, these these kind of beers, you know, it's, <sighs> uh, it's like – Roll it says rolling like a big shot. Beer tuned up tuned up like a NASCAR pit stop. Fresh cocoa nibs, check. Fill it from the bean pot, check. Are the flavors big? What? <laughs> Do it taste good? Yeah. <laughs> Lean back, right hand on the goblet, cream on the inside, chocolate bean on the outside. Yeah, we're ready to go. So that's just good enough. That label there is good enough. I like the that. label is pretty cool. I'll give them a little credit for that. You Corgan, whatever. All right, long story short. Uh, like I said, not a Porter fan. This one probably would get a bigger rating from Porter fans, but I'm going to give it a 375. I'm going to give it a 375. I'm in a four, no problem. This is a good beer. Easy four? Easy four. This is going to turn me to taste another Porter. It's like doing a good turn and saying, pass it forward. I'm going to pass the Porter forward. Pass the Porter forward. Find me another Porter. Now, real, real quick before we wrap it up, I feel like there was one other thing we wanted to touch on, and if memory serves, was it – like the the reach, like a shout out to the breweries that were. Was this one that they threw our way to try? Yeah, they they gave us this beer. Yeah, they, they sent us. I sent them a. It's like a really the test letter. I sent it to them. Yeah, I actually sent it to we, their sister brewery. I, which, I feel bad having. Which I don't know if they advertise. Not, they have a sister brewery, so yeah. I sent it there, and, and then a couple of days later, I got beer in the mail. All right, cool. Yeah, life is good. I feel bad you having to go and buy the. That's why I like to bring the beer sometimes, but. I feel like we got to the point where we shouldn't have to bring the beer. I buy a lot of beer I'd anyway, Driz, and I a, share a lot of beer anyway, yeah, so it's is, not a big this deal. Is cool, but still, shout out to all the breweries out there that want us to review their beer. We'll happily drink it on air. And we'll try not to be mean sh- at yeah. all. Yeah, we're never mean. You know, we're just we'll be honest. Yeah, well, was, you know, we're not going to kiss your ass. Well, we might kiss your ass a little bit, but yeah, we'll kiss. If your I ass. don't like it, I'll say I don't like it. But right. I'll tell you that it's probably the reason why I don't like it is because it's probably not my style of beer, which exactly. is fine. Exactly. Still like to try it. That's right. Yeah. So send us the beer. Send us the beer. <laughs> Huxbeerbuzz.com. Uh, Huxbeerbuzz on all the social media. Of course, Dress Drinks is my handle on uh, Untapped if you want to follow me on there. Uh, Bruce Day Tuesday, wrap it up on Tuesday. We ran long on both of these segments. Yay. Man. I like to be a, That's what happens when we have the, like the warm up long beers. time. <laughs> the warm up beers. Well, Huck, as always, man, I appreciate you coming in, brother. Next week. And we'll do it again next week. Yes. Bruce Day Tuesday, that's a wrap. And uh, we'll be back with more tunage right after this. Stick around.